Hey guys, uh, welcome today. I'm just going to show you guys uh, how I design, how I come up with a recipe for my all grain brewing. The first thing on the home page that you'll find is a selection of uh, drop boxes. You've got the home, you have tools, search, uh, browse, my brewing and beer recipes. I go to beer recipes and new recipe. Now I have it set to metric, uh, all grain, 21 litre batch. <coughs> and the first thing I do is I look at the hops I've got. And after deciding what hops I've got, we'll put in a basic uh, 4.7 kilos of uh, pale turo and 0.3 of 300 grams of crystal 60 and that is and I normally get around 80% efficiency. Uh, the recipe name, test IPA. And I know it's going to be an IPA, American IPA. And you can select right here, it's, it's more, okay? You put more and it gives you a selection of ticks to show you what uh, you <coughs> you have um, what uh, equations you have met okay so we've got the original gravity under control IBUs are not showing up as yet because I haven't put anything in okay so we'll go less and let's say What am I doing? Uh, Columbus. Columbus. Yep, and it's 15 alpha acids. So for the uh, amount, I would say 15 grams will be enough. 60 minutes. And that gives us a 28 point, or 29 IBUs. So I could even drop that back if I really wish. 20 IBUs, that's pretty good. And, um, okay, so now we're going to add some, that's our bittering hops. Now we're going to add um, uh, gal. Fourteen point two five. Well, mine's fifteen point one. So I'm gonna go fifteen point one. And the amount I'm gonna say forty grams at fifteen minutes. And we're still looking pretty good. And that's hit all the marks on that. Um, on the uh, style and down here match matches style based on stats only American IPA which is what I've got Belgian specialty ale fruit beer spice herb or vegetable beer other smoked beer specialty beer so we're we're right where we want to be and so I'm going to add uh, some New Zealand Cascade and what alpha acids are they? Oh, we've got Amarillo there. Uh, Mosaic, New Zealand Cascade, 7.2. 7.2.
use boil uh, 40 grams Twenty minutes, eighty. That's a bit. We'll go. Ten minutes. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I might even go use dry hop. Uh, NZ Cascade seven point two. Uh, 60 grams, five days, and we'll use up the other portion of the uh, Galaxy. Galaxy 15.1, dry hopped for five days, uh, and three so what we've got is five kilos and that's three liters per kilo that's 15 liters temperature 66 lit oh temperature 66 time 60 minutes volume 15 liters and that's an infusion and then we add uh, temperature 70 time 10 minutes liters and I know that it's 17 because I've made this exact size batch before sparge uh, yeast brands I'm just gonna go uh, whoops I'm just gonna go with USO5 USO5 temperature 20 custom attenuation 80 uh, other ingredients Irish moss amount 10 grams type it is a fining uh, 10 minutes use in the boil and my water profile is balanced because I've set that up um, and then you save and it says saved so if I go over to my brew recipes uh, it should be in there uh, test IPA then we just click on that and then we've got that and then we go brew and you uh, you load in your uh, your equipment. Yeah, I've just got an immersion chiller, and that's all I've got really, and and the volume of my mash tun and everything. Uh, brew it, and it comes up with all these checks. Now water requirements: thirty-two point two liters needed. Strike water volume at the thickness of three liters per kilogram is 15 remaining sparge water volume 17.2 uh, grain absorption losses mash latter ton dead space du, 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 and we go brew steps and then it t it tells you everything you need to do you set up and get everything checked off uh, strike water volume of 15 litres, mash tun thickness, when strike water is ready, preheat tun, begin dough and process. Mash step 1, 66 degrees for 60 minutes, 15 litres type infusion, start mash time for 60 minutes. Complete vol off lata as necessary, 70 degrees for 10 minutes, 17 litres sparge, start sparge, t um, start mash timer. Complete vol off da -da -da -da. Expected pre volume boil a pre boil volume of 26.2 liters needed to hit batch size target. And there we have it. The only thing it doesn't do, doesn't say, is it doesn't say, you know, um, when your gravity, your original, uh, your specific gravity reaches 1.020 or less. 
you can dry hop. But you sort of learn that as you go. And uh, just to get rid of that, I just click on there, click on there. And I might even keep that one actually because I might have to name it something else. Um, yeah, but that, that's, uh, that's basically how I do it, um, and, uh, if anyone's got any questions, um, do ask, and, uh, I'm happy to help. Cheers, drink of beers, 17.